Welcome everyone to another episode of Talking Time with Caffeine. On my right, yeah, my right, my or left. I'm not sure which direction this is facing. You know him; he's been on the channel before. Dr. Glenn Man, Think Paradox, aka the Devil. Thank you very much for the grandiose introduction there. And then, one of these days, I'll spare your soul when you're burning in hell. I'll give you the only place with air conditioning. And on my other side, you, you've seen my channel before, but I've been on his. Snick1990. Uh, an appearance that's long overdue. You, you may have seen me on his, or heard, heard my voice on his Kingdom Hearts Let's Play last year. And it will the next video will not process for some reason, so I gotta figure out why. Uh, Have you tried beating it with a hammer? Maybe I should try beating it with a hammer. M good old ingenuity, it works really well. Hit it a few times, it might start working. Speaking of which, I'm about to take this chat room out back and shoot it like old Yeller. Nice. Is that rabies? Oh, uh, no, it's our chat. Ah. Uh, thought maybe it got a wolf, a wolf, a wolf for a cow and... had to shield the children's eyes. So, anyways, first thing we're talking about is... Snick, you've been away from YouTube for a while, but apparently you have made your grand return. Yes. Because my computer was all messed up. Would run really slow. Would do as as much things as, as it used to do, and it ultimately just gave out. So we had to repair. We had to give a lot of repairs to it. Cost didn't cost as much as I would think, but we up, I upgraded to a Windows Seven and installed new drivers into it, and right now it's great. What do you have before? If you if you're upgrading to Windows Seven, what? You... I had XP before. Oh, that's been a. I thought that's been a while. That's like two, like two. It's like two or three Windows back there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a new review coming out now. Yep. Yeah, um... I uploaded the first review onto a separate channel, but then I think I'm going to just upload it onto my main channel because it's not as easy to get all your fans to flock over to another channel as I thought it would be, so just put everything all in one place, keep it simple. Glenn, you, you have two channels, don't you? Or three, more than one, you used to, at least you used to. Um, I used to have uh, multiple channels myself. I used to do not only Think Paradox, but The Poke Christian, and a couple of others, including a Let's Play. But I found it extraordinarily difficult to maintain each and every single channel that I had, so I'm just combining everything into one. And I've changed yeah. uh, the podcast to The Mad Scientist. It's probably they're recording. Huh. Yeah, it's because they're recording. Parents. Hold on, I shall return. Uh, parents. <laughs> Anyways, so our topic I, today then. So, what do you know about reboots and stuff? That um, aside from the fact that it's required from time to time in order to breathe new life into old shows, there's been numerous reboots of a variety of things, including even comic books, uh, which is where the reboots were starting off, where I remember. Um, you'd have reboots of the Justice League, of Superman, and all that. And then on TV shows, you'd have reboots of various different shows, including a 3D animated show called Reboot. Uh, I remember that. Is that the one about the uh, computer people and the computers? Yep. That would be them. I uh, remember that. Uh, I think about that. I, how f do you think there's an appropriate time limit between re between reboots? Like, 
I don't think there's an appropriate time between any of them. Is just whenever you want to breathe new life into an old story, okay. you would re just restart it and give the characters more unique features yeah. uh, that they didn't have previously. True. And then For example, Superman used to be able to add super in front of anything else and call it a new power, like super weaving skills and super this and super that. And it just became to a point where it was ridiculous, so they had to reboot Superman. Uh, and the, you know, think about retcons. Mm. Oh, well, I think that's like, it's, it's like a similar reboot, but it's something that's a little bit different. Like retelling the story, they tell they tell a little bit different than the last time they told it. Usually, it's a little bit different. There's something that's yeah. changed in it. Yeah, I mean it's not just a new outfit for the characters and or new partners or anything. It's a new backstory and and some sometimes there's they, the stories say most ways the same. Like you don't have uh, Batman right, come okay, back sorry. in a reboot and all of a sudden welcome back, and you don't have Batman come back in a reboot and all of a sudden you know the storyline's changed where his parents were never killed behind the theater. So there's always something that stays yeah. pretty much the same well, like, regarding the central. You know, you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? You've, I'm sure you guys heard of them. Oh yeah, we've heard of TMNT. Well, like the latest reboots of them turning out to be space aliens. That was that was interesting. I know, like in some, like like Splinter, in some incarnations he's a rat became a human type, but another person he's a he's a human became a rat person. Um, the original was that. Um, Hiroko Saki or whatever the Splinter's original name was um, he had come in contact with uh, a rat yeah. before he came across the ooze that made yeah. him more rat-like and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came into contact with the ooze but they came in contact with a human which is yeah. Hiroko Saki yeah that's the one I, I grew up with but then in like in the when one of the cartoon versions and in the movie versions he was, he was a rat and then he came he, he was like the, he was a rat that was a pet of the, of the Hirokusaki, instead of Hirokusaki himself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like but in the in the original cartoons. If so when it first started out, the first five episodes uh, revealed that Splinter was actually the human or Hirokusaki or, or whatever his name was. I don't remember. Yeah, I prefer the instead of that rat. I prefer that version better. But speaking of turtles, like since I've been alive. I've there's, there's been at least three different cartoon versions of it. They're on the third one now. That that's true. It's like uh, oh, and then Spider-Man when they had, just came out with a with the that third trilogy was like what like what five years ago or six years ago, and then now then they made a, already made a, two two new movies. And regarding Spider-Man, um, in the recent reboots of Spider-Man, you have Spider-Man that shoots web from his actual arm; it comes out of his body. Um, in the some of the old cartoons and comics of Spider-Man, he he had the knowledge after being bitten by the radioactive spider to be able to create uh, synthetically the uh, you know he, he was able to synthesize the material needed for cartridges for the web. That's why in some of the old cartoons you'll see him change cartridges in this thing on his wrists. Oh. That's where his web's coming from. Which is also supposed to dissolve after 30 minutes, but then there's reboots that state that it doesn't dissolve and others say that it dissolves after a few hours. And then there's that Wolverine thing too where the cl different claws, different versions. Do not talk crap about Wolverine or he will chop your nuts off. I mean... I'm not talking about. He's he's pretty cool, but like in some thing he has a, I think in some one original one he had like, like a fake claw or something, and then later he got bones or metal claws and then bone metal claws. I'm not sure how they, they did. The, the original story behind Wolverine was that he was experimented on and he had no memory whatsoever, but. It was hinted that he his the experimentation that was done on him was due to his uh, regenerative mutagenic ability. Yeah, I think it's not his real power; it's self healing or something. 
not the... His, his actual power is insane regeneration, but he also had claws to start with. Ah. So it would make sense that after the experiment, it, it would go from being bone claws to being a uh, adamantium claw. Because when you have the adamantium injected into the bones of this kind of mutant, because there's multiple uh, that have his mutant um, abilities, but when you have it injected into the person and it uh, molds over their bones, it creates a new uh, kind of adamantium that allows you to continue with red, uh, red blood cell production and things like that. How about you? How the hell do I know that? <laughs> Lots of spare time, I guess. Uh, I guess so. Uh, so, what about you, uh, Snick? Any uh, cartoons that that what? any cartoons that you've seen that that's been re revamped or TV shows or movies? No, not really. Uh. But you were talking about Spider Man a lot while it was going on, right? Yeah. Well, on the topic of Spider Man, that's my next review. Spider Man on the PlayStation. The original PlayStation. The original. In fact, I have the opening plan out. You saw the ending of the first review, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a continuation where I'm held at the gut point again, and then I'm going to be like, okay, 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 I'm going to... Here's how I'm making it up to you. I'm going to review another childhood favorite of mine, but this time it's going to be one everybody loved. I, I, think, yeah. every, I don't think everyone loves Spider-Man. <laughs> well, let's see, the, the PlayStation game Spider-Man did get really good reviews at the time because it was one of the first 3D superhero games that was actually good. Yeah. Like before that, we had yeah, like, Batman and Robin and Superman 64. Let's, with all stuff. let's see. Venom, Venom doesn't like Spider-Man. Neither does the despite does the produce the editor of the Google. He doesn't like Spider-Man either. Or or uh, Carnage says he doesn't like Spider-Man. Oh really? Or the Rhino, or uh, any other villains. Yeah, they all hate him. Well, then they well then they can hold me up at gunpoint. That at least the, most of the fans won't. Uh, hey, Glint, or AKA hmm. Devil Dude. Uh, um, this do you know Spider-Man ever ever had like a main big villain like Superman did? Uh, the main original villain, um, let's see, the original villain for Spider-Man was the, uh, Green Goblin, uh, I think. Okay, because like in Superman, I think it's always, most, most of the time it's Lex, Lex Luthor is the big, big, big villain. Not, not, the, not the biggest villain, but he's like always the main antagonist most of the time. Yeah, typically speaking, most of the crap that goes around with Spider-Man can be seen as uh, some sort of offshoot, but it's not like a, a, a corporation like you see with Superman that's going after him most of the time. Um, you have, just like the Superman story itself, you have the other Kryptonians that were coming down to try to take over the Earth and re-terraform it or whatever have you, yeah. depending on the reboot. And then you have the corporation. Then you also have with Spider-Man, you have the corporation, but you have all these other people that are on their own as well. Yeah. So I guess you can say it's kind of like an Iron Man motif as well, um, except for the major corporation is the main good guy as opposed to the bad guy, and everybody else is just people that have either been screwed over um, based on their technology, not you know, not getting credit for their technology or not getting the finances from it, and they're coming back to get some revenge by kicking some ass and taking names. Yeah, of course they get as different universes, Marvel and DC, too. Yeah, yep. I heard that. What up? Uh, the, oh yeah, that Marvel had they, the Spider-Man people I'm had the. Had to remake the Spider-Man movie really fast, or, or they'd lose their uh, uh, intro. Their uh, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? One earlier in the afternoon when I woke up, so I'm good. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, Spider-Man. Spider uh, that whoever owns Spider-Man 
rights to Spider-Man had to make the movie again real fast, or they lose their rights back to Marvel Studios. Cool. <laughs> yeah, as I'm what? Okay with this? What them losing their rights? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen what they did to Spider-Man when Venom was introduced? Yeah, I know. Like three. That is that the newest movie, or last or the last trilogy? That was uh, number three, I think it was. Uh, yeah, that movie. I could be wrong. I heard that movie was just like this current movie. They they tr- tried to do too many villains at one time. Well, it's just differently e- in the new movie, so. And apparently, they cut out Mary Jane's part in this new movie too. Thank God. Only but thing she was good for in that damn thing. Back in the third one, because did you? And you see the second movie. The new one or the last tr- last one? Um, the new. The way did you see the new one that just came out? Not yet. Oh, then I don't want to say. Uh, spoiler alert! No spoilers today. Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead and spoil it. There's not a fair chance in hell I'm going to be able to watch that after the partial birth abortion that was emo Peter. So go for it. Oh, are you sure? I'm positive. If the viewers are I'd sooner. Are you okay? I would sooner. Spoiling that what happened to the end of the second movie. All right, mute, mute. everybody, mute now. You don't hear, don't hear spoilers. Otherwise, you're out of luck. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Yep. I get. I warn the people. Stacey, are you ready? When Stacy dies, just like the comics. Uh, did she die with her neck being snapped? No, she. Well, kind of. Like her head hits the hits the ground. Yeah, I, I think. Well, it, if if they needed help, we could have had Superman come over there and snap her neck for her. I, I think in one of the comics. Oh, like uh, General Zod from Man of Steel. I think one of the comics he. He, he snapped her neck because he, he makes her some kind of... You're, you're the physicist. Um, no, like, what happened was, like, he caught her with the web. Like, in both to- in both cases, she was in a free fall, and Spider-Man jumped down to go save her, but in the comics, the web grabbed her but by the neck, and then the wind flash from the web snapped her neck. But then in the movie, he the web grabs her right as her head hits the ground. So... Ugh. Sounds bloody. I remember uh, when I was in the audience, some of the audience members actually gasped because I think you could hear like uh, bone crunching. I have to watch it now, <laughs> just for that scene. Uh, if you're all, you can you can all unmute, unmute now. The spoilers are over with. If you cared about spoilers, <laughs> all right. I think there's a, I so Glenn, you want to talk about any, anything like any big any big conspiracy or anything that like last time like any stupid people you've noticed? I don't have any particular favorite conspiracy theories that I would like to talk about in particular uh. because they're all seemingly crap. Uh. Uh. Did you watch the last one about the? Rainbow Girl. I watched it. Oh, I know you. You talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I linked to it in that that video's comment section, just because it was so hilariously stupid. Like I don't know what is in the water that's causing this whole rainbow effect, the whole spectrum is visible. It's like, da, 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 da. like uh, it's it's... because that's what happens with the prism. Uh, but, <laughs> about you, Nick, anything else you want to talk, you want to talk about? Well, not really. Um, I already talked about the reviews and my comeback. So, other than that, the only thing I really have is trying to work on the next KH1 video. Just want to process and not date it with a hammer. Alright, so I guess that's all. Um, before we go, plugs. Snick, get any plugs you want to give out? What? Plugs. Plug your stuff. Plug my stuff? Yeah, give yourself a shameless advert to your channel. Oh, sure. <laughs> go check out a review of Ula. 
Go check out my own review of one of the worst party games ever created, where, in the end, I end up liking it. I end up getting shot with a golden eye sound effect. Uh, and where we find where do we find the, this at? What? List your channel name. Stick nineteen ninety. Uh, uh, Glenn, show me how it's done. Hey, my name is Dr. McMahon with Think Paradox, a public domain video series. You can get to my channel at youtube.com slash quantumfermin, the preferable way to view all my content, including my tweets and Patreon and everything else, is at thinkparadox.cf. Uh, as you can tell, yes, I am sucking the Patreon cock. Oh, oh. But that's uh, all we beggars can do. Unfortunately, YouTube isn't the best of things for creating a career, which is why I'm begging, begging for change. Like the whore on the street that's offering to suck your dick for a nickel. Yeah, that's me. So support us, your content creators. You know we love you. We love you long time. Uh, I'm the devil, bitch. I have also done the Patreon thing. I doubt I'm getting, I'll get anybody, but it's, it'll be in the description down below. This has been Snick. That's been Glenn. I'm, Vendi I'm Lamont, also known as Vendai 998. And always remember to enjoy the randomness. See ya! Yep.